video we will be discussing about <coughs> cavitation so basically cavitation is a phenomena in which static pressure of a liquid reduces to below its vapor pressure leading to formation of small vapors filled with cavities in the liquid when subjected to high pressure these cavities called bubbles or voids collapse and generate shock waves that may damage the machine suppose we have this type of uh, pipe section then obviously here the velocity will be higher and there will be a pressure drop and if this pressure drop is of such uh, magnitude that the pressure of the liquid flowing here falls below the vapor pressure of the liquid then Th there will be formation of cavitation the liquid will boil and uh, there will be formation of vapors these vapors when move toward the higher pressure zone will again condense and uh, come into the liquid form and this uh, this action will lead to lead to lead to disbursement of energy very high energy will be released intense energy will be released here and when these vapors collide with the with the metal or the pipe here then there will be some impact of this on this pipe this impact will be in the form of small cavities or pits there will be voice also that can be heard of this pitting action so in this way whenever the liquid pressure drops below the vapor pressure it will form uh, it will convert into vapors and then when again it reaches a high pressure zone it will reconvert into the liquid form and there the pitting action will take place and cavitation will occur so with respect to the turbines uh, with respect to the fluid mechanics we are concerned with the cavitation for turbines and pumps not all turbines and pumps uh, suffer from cavitation basically centrifugal pumps and reaction turbines are subjected to cavitation this is because both of them have the suction pressure or the pressure here of the liquid falls below the there are chances that it will fall below the vapor pressure of liquid or water if properly if it is not designed properly so in the pumps in the starting point at the inlet we uh, can have a suction pressure or the pressure will fall below the vapor pressure in the reaction turbines the pressure will fall below the vapor pressure at the outlets where the where the water comes with a very high velocity and pressure is reduced to uh, pressure be um, below the vapor pressure of liquid so in that case we have to take necessary actions to avoid such things so you can see that this is the impact of cavitation there will be some uh, form of cavities formed on the surface of the of the metal or this blade so similarly in case of pumps it will take ero erosion will take place and, and there will be around uh, around these in these blades there will be pitting action of the vapors and metal will erode so this causes a huge loss to the turbine so in this way uh, vapor pressure may uh, or the cavitation may lead to cavitation damage or damage the fluid machinery so to avoid the cavitation what we can do is is first to develop uh, design the machinery in such a way that the vapor pressure does uh, that the pressure of the liquid flowing through it does not fall below the vapor pressure another way is to identify the early warning signs of cavitation some common symptoms are decreased flow of pressure or unexpected vibrations sealing or bearing failure of the machine erratic power consumption and impeller erosion all these lead to these are the signs for which we have we need to be very careful and upon noticing these signs we should check the machinery for uh, the cavitation purpose thank you for watching our video please subscribe to our channel like and share the video